the final chapter and perhaps closure for Ina Bonnet. She was gang raped and sadistically tortured. Her son was shot dead while he begged for his life. Today the court was packed for the sentencing, a reflection of the intense public interest this case has generated. Given the current levels of violence and serious crimes in this country, it seems proper that in sentencing especially such crimes, the emphasis should be on retribution and deterrence. A punishment with mixed reactions. Kotze himself displayed little emotion. It's perhaps closure for Ina Bonnet. The scars of a terrible ordeal runs deep and her son is dead. Fortunately, I can stop at my son's grave this afternoon and have a deep conversation with him and tell him that justice has been served. Rights activists also weighed in after the sentencing. And we hope that the monster and his co-adjus will rot in jail. Yeah. And we believe this judgment will be a deterrent to all would-be rapists and murderers. Let me tell you one thing, the rapists in this country are in big trouble and we will not stand back anymore. We will fight back. The NPA says it's satisfied with the sentences and it will serve as a deterrent. Crimes such as rape, crimes such as murder are definitely serious and we need to make sure that whoever is involved in such gets a maximum sentence. Judge Bem justified these sentences by saying the murder of 19-year-old Conrad had been well planned. He also said Quarter deserved the life sentence for rape. Patricia Fasahi, SBC News, Pretoria.